I don't mind living in a man's world as long as I can be a woman by Marilyn Monroe. Good day everyone, I am Iris J.K. Mobile and before we start, let me introduce my group mates. Good day everyone, I am Rizzi Roleta and I am going to discuss about your one Goddess Worship to God's Worship. Hi, my name is Vladimir Jody Simonas and I will be discussing to you the theory to Eve and the other. I am Arabe Mascara, I will be discussing the theory to a sheep reproduction. So let us now begin our discussion. In chapter 10, it tackles about the theories on the origin of women oppression, which include four contents, those are women oppression, goddess worship to god worship, if and the other, and the shift of production. Concept of women's oppression. How did it happen that half of the world's population is systemically discriminated? Women bears children and mostly raise their children from infancy and to their early years. A source of cultural and emotional education of children. Primary task of taking care of the family or universal caregiving. First healer due to their extensive knowledge of birds. At the south point, in all ancient cultures, women were hailed as mediators to the gods. Rosalind Miles, a famous feminist writer, journalist, and historian who has researched the hidden role of women throughout history, compiled stories to discuss the origin of women's oppression. Theory 1. Goddess Worship to God Worship From ancient civilization that worshipped the earth goddess to the male suppression of this goddess, women's centric cult existed prior to the polycentric cult, a slow and violent process. According to Marx, women were last value, and their status were threatened with the expansion of Palos worship around 1500 BC. The first gods for early civilization were women, as they were celebrated and venerated for her fertility dating to as far back as 5,000 years ago. Goddess-based social organization, the worship of mother goddesses lasted for as long as people experienced the development of life as a mystery and a gift. Men realized that they too played part in fertility eventually. Societies concluded that the source of life was the penis, not the womb. People started believing that males were the creative power in which the seed of men developed inside the female to serve as a receptive vessel of life. As male power grew, inequality also increased. Women became seen not as active partners, but only as passive incubators. Women in the United States face ongoing debates about abortion rights, birth control, gender pay gaps, and over-sexualizations. Simon de Beauvoir's philosophy can help understand the origins of the system. Women have been repressed from taking control of their lives, with men being the self and women being the other. The biblical story of Adam and Eve exemplifies this, as Eve defied boundaries and was cemented as the other. Christianity, according to the Devour, has influenced the idea of women's subservience to men in the United States. Contradicting feminist ideologies, Devour argues that women must take responsibility for their decisions and form their own moral code to become autonomous. She believes that the women are an extension of man and ambitious is a dangerous quality in women. The story of Eve, who was created by, by God for Adam, highlights the importance of women's freedom and consequences of their actions. Eve's decision to eat the forbidden fruit, which she did not consider, demonstrates her fearlessness and individuality. Sheep reproduction or a pattern creating public culture has contributed to the oppression of women. How? Reproduction became an important task as it needed for workers. Women had to be watched, protected, and protected. Sexuality had to be overseen so the community could be assured that the children that they would produce would be loyal to the community. A sheep from birth reduction to labor production has oppressed women as a result. Reflection of a topic. When you feature an example, a person, a place, an event, or a current issue in the Philippines, you represent the topic. 
can be applied or contextualized. Limited access to healthcare. Many women in the Philippines struggle to access quality healthcare, particularly in rural areas. Domestic violence also is a significant problem in the Philippines, with many women experiencing physical and emotional and sexual abuse from their partner. What solutions can we give to these issues, problems, or at least spread awareness regarding the matter? First of all, is to speak up and speak out. Second, know the issue and call the signs. Third, call out sexual harassments. Number four, challenge beliefs of on masculinity. Masculinity. Number five, fund women's organizations. Number six, call for better responses and services. Number seven, demand for more data. Number eight, push for stronger laws. And number nine, to support women's leadership. These are all examples of what we need in order for us to spread awareness and to have less violence against women.